I do solemnly swear. I do solemnly swear. To objectively and subjectively. To objectively and subjectively. Evaluate each barbecue meat that is presented to my eyes. Evaluate each barbecue meat that is presented to my eyes. My nose. My nose. My hands. My hands. And my palate. And my palate. I accept my duty. I accept my duty. To be a third annual Rock and Rip Hill judge. To be a third annual Rock and Rip Hill judge. So that's true. Justice, yes. excellence in barbecue, yes. and the American way of life, may be strengthened and preserved forever. I'm going to try to fix yeah. this one if you can. Let's spray it off. <laughs> I'm going to try to, uh... Okay, this is a chicken entry. Uh, number one, I found to be overcooked, causing the meat to be very dry, and the skin on it was very tough. Our second entry had a very pleasant flavor throughout the chicken leg that, that just complemented it very well. Our number three entry was very consistent with a good flavor, a very nice smoke flavor to it that uh, it was very enjoyable. Number four entry to me found it to be very bland, no flavor, uh, just to me was not a very well presented uh, piece of chicken. I feel the same way. Um, number one was a, a number one was a little dry. Uh, number two looked to be uh, okay, a little saucy. Uh, number three uh, I thought was uh, probably out of the three entries, number three was good. The piece I had for entry number four was way too fatty. It was just too much fat in it. When I picked it up, uh, it felt like it weighed about a half a pound. I agree with the previous two gentlemen. Um, entry number one was dry. The skin was too thick. They may not have taken the fat off the back of the skin, and it wasn't easy to bite through on the first bite. <clears throat> number two had a pleasant flavor. Um, texture, uh, too much sauce, and too peppery. The third entry that was the best of the four, <clears throat> the tenderness was spot on. Unfortunately, the taste was too peppery to me. It would have been right on if they'd held back a little bit on the on the pepper, <clears throat> and it would have been a, just a, an ideal entry. Number four, bless her heart, it weighed a ton, just like he said. Uh, no flavor, um, strange flavor. And again, the skin was thick. Apparently, they didn't take the fat off the back of the skin. And they need to do a lot of improvement on that one. Number one, very dry and overcooked. Number two and three both had very good flavors, especially number three, very, very moist and very flavorful. Number four, very bland and fatty. Uh, number one, I found uh, presented beautifully, but overcooked and dry. Number two and number three both were, had very excellent flavor and were cooked properly. Uh, the fourth one was undercooked, uh, overly fat. The flavor didn't penetrate the skin to the meat. Hello, Lawrenceville. How are you this Categories ribs and overall the ribs were pretty good. Uh, rib number one uh, was probably the best rib that I had to taste. Uh, number two was very sweet, crusty, and tough and chewy. Number three uh, was pretty good rib. 
little, a little dry, a little chewy. And number four was just all right. That's about all I can say about number four. I am kind of glad that we didn't get more than four ribs since they were all disappointing as far as I was concerned. Uh, the best one on my plate was four um, in both taste and tenderness, and the rest uh, just couldn't match up to any, any of what four had. Uh, I feel about the same way. The uh, first one was a little dry. Second one uh, was a kind of a strange looking rib, and it was uh, I couldn't get it off. It was really tough. Third one might have been a little overcooked. Uh, oh, back to number two. It you could taste like sugar sprinkled on top that hadn't had a chance to dissolve yet. So I think this guy was didn't get finished with his process. And number four was okay, but that was about it. Okay. I want to thank our table captain for only giving us four of these ribs. <laughs> I wasn't pleased with any of them. Uh, I thought number one was a decent rib. Number two was um, very chewy, very sweet, overly sweet. Uh, number three was was pretty good, maybe maybe a little too overcooked. Um, Number four was decent. Of the four ribs, uh, three of them were okay. Pretty much same consensus. consensus. Number two was incredibly hard to bite through. And uh, number one was my favorite. Number one, Ireland, with that last minute touchdown. He gets through a protective win. Puts his hand down the ground behind Thomas. Base for base, second down and eight. Here comes Thomas on the option pitch. Unloads it to Searcy. Swing it out wide right. Okay, entry number one and number two were very good. They had a good smoke flavor. Entry number three was a little dry. And entry number four was good. I thought that uh, one and two were very good entries. Um, two actually was uh, had a good bark and was uh, nice and tender. Three, I uh, thought the money muscle actually took away from the box a little bit. And four, I found to uh, be on the blander side. My best entry would be number two, though the appearance was not great. Overall, the flavor and the tenderness was good. Um, I thought number one was a little bland. Number two, the bark piece was very good. The other, the other, uh, piece we got was a little bland. Number three was just cut way too thick for the amount of cooking time. And I thought number four was mushy. My favorite today was number two. Had a nice bark, great appearance, good smoke ring, good smoky flavor, and you could really taste the pork in that without some sauce. And then number three would have been my least favorite. Uh, a little too much sauce on that for my liking, and it was a little bit tough as well. Kind of too big. Uh, this overall, this was a tough brisket entry. Uh, the top left that you have in your uh, view there was actually a bizarre cut, but overall, I thought it had the best flavor and the best tenderness. Um, the uh, number two item, uh, which is bottom center in your view, uh, was a little dry, 
uh, but had a good flavor. Um, number three, um, which is the top right in your view, was also bland and tough. And number four, the bottom left in your view, was uh, was also dry and overcooked. Um, so, pretty tough entry on brisket. It was um, it was some pretty decent brisket. Some of the presentation wasn't ideal with the uh, the fat layers and whatnot, but uh, I could tell they went for a Texas style flavor with number one, uh, and it was okay. Number one was a very big piece of meat, and I wish they had trimmed it a little better for us. Um, it was difficult to pull apart with the pull test, so a little bit tough. Um, and the, the flavor was there, tasted like beef, so that's a good sign. The second one was a little on the dry side. I was happy to see an attempt at burnt ends, though, and um, the flavor was okay. Number three was very dry and extremely difficult to pull apart and very little flavoring. Would have liked to see a little more spice. And the last one reminded me a little bit of pot roast in the flavoring. Perhaps maybe some French onion soup mix was placed into it. It also crumbled um, with the pull test, so um, dry. I should like to say dittos for that, but I will say that number one was tasted better than it looks. Two, the bark was fantastic. Three was tough and no flavor. Four, mm, just no comment. All right, number, number one looked a little different, but I thought it was a pretty good, overall, a pretty good piece of brisket. A little bit tough, but it tasted good. It was nice and moist. Second one, it was a little dry. Third one was a little tough. At number four, I don't know what happened to it, but it just didn't taste right. I agree. I, I've been doing this for two years, and this is the most diverse set of brisket I've ever <laughs> gotten. Uh, number one, it was just difficult to eat. It was, um, it was tough. Number two, was the same, um, hard to pull apart. Number three had no taste at all. And number four, I agree with my colleague who said there's some French onion soup or something in there. So just a difficult entry to, to judge.